My name is Bora and I'm 34. I'm a mom of four boys and a wife and I'm very active in our community and I own my own business and a very avid sport mom. So prior to being diagnosed with my acoustic neuroma, my husband and I went to a concert and after the concert, it was a rock concert, I was struggling to hear. I had ringing in my ear. You know, it just was pretty persistent and it wouldn't get better and I was noticing I had to watch TV with closed captioning on and in social settings, I was constantly asking people to repeat themselves. And at the time I was 28, so it was kind of odd that I was having some hearing issues. And so I went to my family doctor several times and he couldn't help me, he couldn't figure out what was wrong. And so he referred me to a specialist in ENT. The MRI came back and I had the tumor. So I ended up choosing Ohio State for my care with my acoustic neuroma because I really trusted the doctors I met with. Immediately I knew I was in good hands. Every opportunity that I have to refer to Ohio State and Dr. Prevadello and Dr. Adanka, I do. When someone is going to be operating inside of your skull and near your brain, you want to have complete trust in that person or team. And I really felt once I met both my doctors that I could trust them when it was time to move forward with surgery. We were able to perform what we call a middle cranial fossa approach. So we were able to remove her tumor completely and preserve the function of all the nerves, uh, particularly the facial nerve and the hearing nerve that are located in that region. She woke up and her facial function was, was great. She subsequently developed temporary um, palsy of a facial nerve that recovered after a few weeks. Every day there was a little bit of progress and every day my facial nerve came back just a little bit more. And my face, I would say, is 95% recovered. You wouldn't even be able to tell that half of my face was paralyzed. Because her hearing was preserved, then um, at this point she is basically neurologically intact and tumor free. I felt human again, I think at six weeks. So my surgery was in August and even the physical therapist told me, you know, realistically, you're maybe looking at around Christmas time to walk unassisted, you know, no cane, no walker. And I was able to take my kids trick or treating without a walker. My husband and I shared my journey publicly on social media. And at first it was just a way to sort of process everything that we were feeling, maybe an outlet. And then it started gaining traction with people who were in similar positions and didn't know what their treatment plan would look like. And so we gained a pretty big following. It's really turned into this passion for me where I want to help others and I want to encourage them. And it's, it really does make a difference for someone who doesn't know what to expect or has not had a conversation with someone who's had brain surgery. So I'm 34, I have my whole life ahead of me and it's, the greatest feeling to have the weight lifted off that I don't have a tumor growing inside my head anymore. I can just live the rest of my life tumor free and it just gave me back my freedom 